viewers, welcome back to the channel, the photography channel that has reviewed the most microphones than any other photography channel. How do we even get started reviewing microphones? Because the channel is good at it. And today's video is a full, unpaid, unbiased review of the Katifo Star 500 wireless UHF microphone. So if you're new to this channel, we always do our review unbiased, unpaid. And you're probably thinking like, how does a channel survive doing reviews like this? Number one, you watch them, our ratings go up, our viewership goes up, our subscribers goes up, and we get AdSense money. So when brands send us their products, we always forewarn them, do not pay us. The reason is because we want to keep this unbiased. So you can watch this with full confidence because this is not a paid video. This thing can take in a TF card. Wow, that's a relief because you know why? More often than not, we film our footage for YouTube videos and then we are short of footage. And then I need to VO them, voice over them. And most of the time I have to hold a different mic. And when you use a different mic, your videos would sound different. That's the headspace and the audio properties of the microphone. With this one, I can stick in a TF card, I don't need a camera crew, I don't need a camera, I can just record it into my TF card. It's a UHF frequency transmitter receiver system. I know, these days when you go online to buy yourself a wireless microphone, more often than not, you're going to end up with a 2.4 gigahertz frequency. Now that's really crowded. Well, history has a funny way of going one full circle. I still remember that back then, most of the microphones were using UHF, then it got real crowded, and then they moved to this 2.4 gigahertz, full digital, and then you know what? Everybody is using the 2.4 gigahertz. Your dash cam, your Wi-Fi, your wireless access point, and your microphone. And then you know what happens? When you go outdoor, you're going to get and find out where cut off audio signal like this. So, back to Star 500 using UHF. Why did it come full circle? Because if you really look at this, the higher end brands are still using the ultra high frequency, which is kind of cool, which is these days less crowded. So that's a good point. And most UHF microphones are big. They are huge. So if you look at the Star 500, you may think that hey, at first glance, this is quite big, but hey, it is by far the smallest UHF wireless microphone and it operates on a frequency of 576.400 MHz to 599.900 MHz. All in one package in a carrying case. You get two transmitter, one receiver, USB cables to charge them and you have this 3.5 to 3.5 and as usual, you have one for your professional camera which is a TRS cable, and the other one is a TRRS. So what's the difference? If you see TRS, it's to your camera. If you see TRRS, which stands for tip, ring, ring, sleeve, it goes to your smartphone. Because if you really look at your smartphone, if you still have a pod, the ability for you to use this microphone to film using a smartphone. And if you are talking about smartphone, you want to see how powerful they are, watch this video, where I really use a smartphone to shoot some commercial quality photos. So shooting nice photos with smartphone and shooting great videos with smartphone is a skill that you must have. Probably the world's cheapest UHF wireless microphone. Check out the price. Really, compare it. This is really affordable. So if you want to go out there and make videos and not have audio interruption with all the frequency crashing, go for UHF and this is by far the cheapest, the smallest and good point. Two transmitters to one receiver. That's the default. Don't you ever go out and buy a microphone that has one transmitter, one receiver. This is a de facto in the market and this is the one I'm holding here and there's another one here so you actually get lavalier microphone included as well and this baby also has a microphone built in as well these are kind of de facto these days and here's another good point the menu of the Star 500 is easy to use because as brands go forth and make microphones smaller you know, they can be so small that if you swallow them accidentally and go to your doctor, the doctor says, it's okay, don't worry. Give it a few days, you're probably going to s*** up. So, but this is different. When it's bigger, it has more button. When you have more button, it's easier to use. Alright, so I'm going to turn this on now. 
So there's a dedicated on button. I really hate it when I have to use microphones that has one button to do three things. Press and hold to pair, press and hold longer to on, press and hold longer to adjust volume, press and hold to... Don't get me started. So I'm going to press this on. So there is a transmitter here. There is a transmitter here. This is connected. This is connected. So to mute this, very simple. Let me see whether there's a mute button. If there's no mute button, I can almost guarantee you, tap this one time, mute it. If I see anything that I like, you have a button here which is called set. Look, if you don't understand what set is, it's set. So press this to set. There you go. This is so easy to use. So a bigger microphone like this allows you to have more buttons and more buttons means that you have an easier access menu. I feel so stupid holding it this way. Let me tell you what's the good point. Star rig. What is a star rig? This is a star rig. So now you can take this and slot it in here. And there you go. You have a handheld microphone. That's what the star rig does. And this has a little threaded screw here, which means that you can take your boom pole and then connect through here and this become a boom mic on its own. So you can now go around like an award-winning journalist and make sure that you unmute this. I'm going to unmute this and then go like, Will, why did you slap Chris Rock? <laughs> oh, wow! Wow! That was a... Greatest night in the history of television. The Star 500 boasts a screen which is using OLED LED display. This may not be important for you, but as a slimmer, there's one thing that I totally hate is that when you point a camera to a device like this, sometimes they flicker because of the frame per second, but let me show you what I do. I take my smartphone now, I turn this to video. Look, and I point it to no flicker. My day is made. In short, with the OLED screen, it's easier and crispier to read. The next good point, it has low cut filter. What is low cut filter? Very simple. You have high frequency noise and you have low frequency noise. And most of the time during filming, the low frequency noise are the annoying one. They come from motorcycle from afar because they travel really far. That's bassy sound, low, right? And then what happens is that the fan, the air cons, and all these hums would create low noises, low, bassy. So what happens is low cut, you cut away all these low noises. You know, you know what? My co-worker Tarshan is going to show you what happens when you turn on the low cut filter. And without the low cut filter. use your low cut filter. Next good point, seven hours of battery life. But let me tell you this, I suspect that it can last a little bit longer because you know why? It's bigger than most usual mic. Compare this microphone to all the other microphones that I've used before, which are much smaller. And here's the thing, if you're really making production filming, it can be quite annoying because then you have to charge them two to three times a day. And the worst thing is this, the day that you don't monitor the audio, is the day you run out of battery. And here's the worst part. You thought that it's still rolling. And you're gonna go back with video with no audio. And they're gonna look like silent movies. <music> Operational distance. Next good point, 120 meters. Most of the time I think they just, we just get like 100 meters, right? Like 90 plus, they'll start breaking up. But I can tell you this. I kind of believe these numbers because the UHF will travel better because of its low frequency, it will go the distance much better than anything else. And what the hell are you trying to do with the distance of 100 meters? What, what are you filming? Wildlife? What, you take the transmitter, clip it to your crocodile and then film 100 meters away? 20 meters would be fine. 100 meters is just... Michael Bay. All right, you probably are waiting for the bad points and we always find problems that you may face and bring it out, bring it forth to you. Bad point number one, the size. The other day I saw one video which is so ridiculous. You know, they have this daughter coming into the car crying and all and got this microphone clipped on there. <laughs> Doing the best and most stellar acting scene I've ever done before. But the microphone was so obvious. 
So this is not something that you can clip on like an influencer. This is a little bit more professional because of all the features that you have. So it's a little bit bigger. So yeah, anyhow, it's still a bad point. It's not something that you can clip. Next bad point, the star rig is great. You can now clip this here. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to unmute this and show you the next bad point. It transmit quite a fair bit of vibration because there is no separating the main unit with the handheld unit so a little bit of bump would be can you hear the noise you can right so if i do this could you right so hold it don't rub it what it's valid right you just like don't, don't scratch, don't move, yeah? It's gonna create a lot of bumpy noise. Oh, I forgot to tell you, that's another good point. Because of the TF slot that you have, you can actually record safety track. In case the receiver runs out of battery or the TRRS connector comes loose to your microphone, you can still record it to the TF card. That's the beauty. But the bad point is this, that it has to be initiated by your talent. Or, your sound guy has to gun to the talents but and then click. Yeah, I mean, it kind of makes sense, right? Why do you guys say it's a bad point? When I'm doing VO, right? Like you guys come up to me and then say, Andrew, give me a VO because this scene doesn't have a VO. Then I'm going to talk. What do I need? Take a receiver and then turn it on and then come back here and see. Come on. So that's not a bad point. It should be initiated both ways. Okay, you got a point. So the point of producer Yi Chong is that it can be initiated by the talent or it can also be initiated by the sound guy. So have a bad point. All right, so viewers, the customary before we end verdict, what do I think of this product? I would say safe for the size, I would give this a product a four. It loses one point because it's a bit big, but then I understand I come from the time when I use Sennheiser microphones. Look at that. This thing, if it drops on you, you probably get a bloody head. Yi Chong, what is your four out of five? Okay, why you knock off one point? Build quality. Look at the price. What do you expect it to be made of? Vibranium? <laughs> Jin, tell me what do you think. Out of five star, how many stars do you think the five star 500 deserves? Okay, why you knock off one point? The buttons are a bit loud. Okay, that I kind of agree. They like, yeah, but that's the good thing. You click a button, you want it to acknowledge that you're being clicked. My wife always say this to me. Oi, idiot, when I call your name, can you at least go, ah? Oh. If you're not going to do it, it's fine. Acknowledge, so acknowledge. So viewers, all in all, all of us think this is a four out of five star product. But the best part for you to evaluate this is look at the price. And if you want something that doesn't drop signals in the days of the congested 2.4 gigahertz, the Star 500 delivers. Thicker, huh? Bubble like hell, huh? You already moved before, is it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> See, every time somebody manhandles a microphone with this nice little entire fingerprint thing you know because you have bubbles oh long press even cycle the menu look at that kind of kind of like you go to your website to buy quantity and you press it and it goes up